Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Wolf Chaos XD. So, last time, we, I guess, hit a bit of a progression point where Michael made up a, like, CG battle between him and I to show that he was the better mech pilot and then put it on the news, but also we lost our resistance contacts after we did the mech fight. So now we have some very sporadic locations across the states instead of just moving from west to east. We have a super assault helicopter, a command cruiser, unmanned super weapon, or all target areas, which we are not going to do. We're going to skip that one for now. I guess let's do the uh, the super assault helicopter. I mean, that's we already did the the Grand Canyon boss. That was a big helicopter. The enemy army has dried up the nation's resources and put the people on a rationing system to construct a space plane launch and landing base in Houston. I mean, wasn't there already probably a space plane launch and landing base in Houston? Yeah, that's where NASA launch was. Swiftly as paratrooper reinforcements are predicted to be dropped in from super assault heavy attack helicopters that defend the skies and the base. Okay, well, that says plural super assault heavy attack helicopters, and the mission only says destroy one. The objective is total destruction of all target areas and a super assault heavy attack on Lajuan helicopter. This mission goes by the call name Winner Takes All on Lajuan vs. Metal Wolf. Eh. Good luck. Not your best. Your speed, Mr. President. Okay, so once again, I have a good pile of money and metal because I did some more grinding on the previous missions. Weirdly, it seems like every one of those previous missions has one energy pod I can't find. There's always one that seems to be hidden away. And also, one of them, San Francisco, I'm apparently missing just one civilian, even though there's always four in a cage. So I don't know if there's like a special one there I need to find. But let's do some investing. Okay, so handguns, I haven't really gotten anything there, so I'm gonna put a point into that. Let's see if we get a new one. Okay, probably a Desert Eagle. Um, shotguns, I found that the shotgun I have right now is good, but it has a very low ammo capacity, because I keep getting, running out, basically. Uh, machine guns, we've kind of been neglecting. Assault rifles have been good. Bazookas, I should probably get a new M2, just to keep upgrading it. Um, missile launcher, the one I have right now is pretty good. Grenade launchers I haven't put any points into, so let's at least do one there. Okay, that's just the crappy little one-shot one, though. Uh, sniper cannons... I didn't really do much with the sniper cannon that I have the first time we used it, but it's actually pretty good. It just doesn't have a lot of ammo either, it's, but it can destroy some of those buildings in one shot that you have to take out. And it's also probably good for helicopters. Railguns, so I unlocked the other railgun, the one that I had unlocked previously, because the one we had right now, you know, with the split shot, obviously wasn't very good. Uh, Multi-missiles, I can put a point into that. And yeah, we're not going to get anything until level 3. Uh, flamethrowers, we haven't used the new flamethrower yet, as far as I remember. But yeah, I'm just kind of generally spreading out points here. Um... Uh, I guess I should put a point into something. And get the rest of the SG-552s. And then... Oh, I want to go to Manufacture. Sight Breath. That's kind of a weird... I guess that sight rating that I was wondering about is the box, you know, for where it can actually hit things. So this Desert Eagle apparently has a giant hitbox. Okay, so we've got stun rounds. Yeah, that was the one where I was like, yeah, not really worth it. I don't know if those are good against anything. We've got the long range one, and we've got the energy round one. The long range ones seem pretty good. They do more damage by a little bit, and have a little lower capacity. But I can put that in my offhand, where I have the M4 long range right now. M2 precision targeting. Uh, less damage. I don't really need it more accurate. It's already pretty accurate, so maybe I'll just hold off on that one. Let's 
see. Yeah, so we have this advanced railgun, which I don't think we used yet. Okay, well, that's good for now. We have a lot of money still, but we can just keep that banked. I haven't really felt like any of my weapons are super ineffective, so that's good. Um, those are good. Let's switch out the M4 with the SGLR. Since they don't seem to share ammo, thankfully. And I don't know if I want to stick with my sniper cannon or switch it out for the big rail gun. Because this doesn't have a split shot, so it could be good. But you notice it has a lot less damage and a lot more ammo. Might be better to hold on to sniper cannon for the helicopters. Oop. So I assume there's going to be a lot. I should have looked at the troop this distribution. This is CNN's Peter McDonald reporting. I'm coming to you live today from a U.S. military base in the outskirts of Houston, Texas. Scarce natural resources sent from the Space Plane Center are collected and kept here. Where the are US these natural resources coming from? Managing these goods are they coming from space? Acting as the defense for this area is this super assault heavy attack Elijah Wan helicopter. Take a look at this firepower. That is an interesting design. 197 anti aircraft guns, 80 millimeter bow force anti aircraft cannons, two 10 millimeter grenade launchers, and finally, 12 missile containers. Also, when are we going to get a minigun like the one it has he had in the like, intro video? Soldiers. Or like a demo reel or whatever you want to call that. Fortress. As long as the I mean, Juan is on the scene, Metal Wolf it's not exactly a helicarrier, but it looks pretty well armed by comparison. Hey, Mr. Newsman! I thought he was going to tackle the helicopter out of the air. Say my name three times and I show up. All right. Juan appears to be dropping parachute troops from its cargo bay. It'll be trouble when those reinforcements land. I'm guessing we can't really do much to the carrier yet. Oh, these look like a new enemy. Those must be some new kinds of weapons. They're being dropped one after another from the Elijah one. Either that or they're just really big mines. Have no choice but to deal with this firepower. He's more like a sports commentator on the battle now than a news reporter. Coming to you live where Metal Wolf, Metal Wolf wipes out <laughs> yet another military, uh, I'm gonna say military detachment. Paratrooper sniper unit and the pride of a U.S. airborne is joining the fight. They're dropping into battle one after the other. This is a scene of biblical proportions. A modern day David and Goliath. Okay, Mr. President, let's. Okay, I don't think I can destroy this building. Huh? Yeah, hold on, Jody. I gotta find all the secrets. Also, it is worth collecting ammo at the start of the mission because you don't start with full capacity. You should knock out the launch bay doors that drop the bombs. First, start by reducing the strength. Man, those mechs are really weak. Improve the guidance function performance of the smart bomb, Mr. President. Like, he just got brutalized. I didn't even need to use my bursts like I did the first time we fought one of those grunt mechs. Okay, let's switch to the rocket launcher. What am I getting hit by? Oh. I'm getting hit from these things. Okay, I need my M2. It's a little chaotic here. A little metal wolf chaotic. Oh, he's got a sniper cannon. That's not good. Take him out. Still getting hit from missiles from somewhere. Also, yeah, these things just like fly in the air when you shoot them. 
Looks like a Xeon mech. You rescued. He was forced to perform to entertain the troops. Don't worry, guys. You're totally safe as I fire directly between them. Oh, right. I forgot you were here. Can these things, like, not turn around? It doesn't seem to have moved. They're just kind of, like, really heavy and just deployed. Oh, there's a lot of these fellows. Is that what the helicarrier was dropping? Oh, nope. It's these little fellows. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I guess the missiles are just coming from the Olajuwon. Not sure what the dozer blade on that thing actually does. Okay, I want to keep this handy so I can actually shoot the missiles when they come at me. Get some of my health back. Ooh. Doesn't really help that they just kind of circle you. Can I knock him into the water? Nope. There's a boundary there for enemies. Not for me, though. If I fall in, I'm probably just dead. This works really well. You can just kind of bounce off, fire a rocket, and then bounce again. Oh, those... Do those explode? It looks like it explodes. They just bounce at you and blow up. Oh yeah, there's all the missiles. Okay, what do we got for target areas? It's not very much, just whatever these two things are. I still hear very faintly in the background, Sequencer. I guess like half the soundtrack has that line in it. Oh, hello. Taking a good amount of damage, pretty much just from these mines and also missiles. The problem is, the closer I get to this thing, the less time it takes for more missiles to spawn. Ooh. Come on, shield unit. Space resources. That's what we were researching. Okay, there's a shield unit. But yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage. It's kind of hard not to when there's just a non stop array of missiles. Mr. President, the fuselage damage rate is over 70%. Have you taken too much damage? Try to remain calm. I mean, you're like stressing me out, Jody, but also saying remain calm. Mr. President, you're totally going to die. Also, relax. Okay, do I have enough time to get off up? Nope. That's just gonna get me hit by missiles if I try to use the sniper cannon. So yeah, clearly that was not a good pick for this mission. However, it does kind of seem like the missiles are hitting me through the walls sometimes. Looks are you gonna let him get away with 
Metal Wolf is down for the count. Finally, the terror is over. Now that's what I call a happy ending. All right, let's, uh, oh, I should have gone garage. That's what I was gonna do anyway. Good luck and- Okay, yeah, so, hmm. Sniper cannon's not gonna do me much good. Uh, I guess we could go with the flamethrower since we can get up close on these tanks and stuff and just kind of melt them, hopefully. Because any of my long range stuff isn't gonna. I don't have enough time to stand there and actually fire it. Also, I'm gonna switch out the NA shotgun with just the regular so we have a bit more ammo. I guess the ammo is the same. Alright. But I will invest in a new missile launcher. So that seems like it'll come in handy for this mission. Missile launcher with upgraded firepower. Oh yeah, that does 800 more damage. Uh, lock on speed is the same. Guidance system is only a little bit worse. It's only an A instead of an S, so it's it's a pretty good upgrade. Hopefully this will allow us to chew down those big fellas faster. But yeah, I think my main thing is I just have to actually keep my assault rifle handy for the missiles. And let's go straight for some of these targets because... That means we'll get less bombs and shit dropping on us. Oh man, that does a lot of damage to that building. That new missile launcher. An elite paratrooper sniper unit and the pride of a US Airborne is joining the fight. They're dropping into battle one after the other. This is a scene of biblical proportion. I'm surprised I actually rescued them. Seems to have fallen off. If there's no guidance device, it's flying blind. A musician was among the POWs you rescued. He was forced to perform to entertain the troops. Alright, yeah, so let's gonna. Oh. All oh, right, because we died, so that's why these people are not rescued still. Okay, so those towers are also firing missiles, but yeah, I was going to say we skim around the outside first and take out all these towers to minimize the amount of rockets that are flying at me. Yeah, these ones are a little tougher than the first ones. But there they go. Still lost a health bar there. Oh boy, I almost just rocketed these civilians. Some scientists were among the POWs you rescued. They were held against their will to research space resources. Okay, there's a... I can see one of those bombs sneaking up on me. Every time you hear that electric zap sound, that means I've lost a health bar. Don't see what I'm taking so much damage from here, though. Okay, well now I'm just getting hit by bombs. This corner back here seems to be full of them. Ugh. All it takes is three of those missiles to take out one whole health bar. When they circle around me like that. Hoping to find some health back here. What? What am I taking damage from? Okay, you see this? See how there's shots coming through this fucking building? What am I supposed to do about that? Looks groggy. Are you gonna let him get away with saying that, Mr. President? Yeah, so these guys were just shoving their gun through the wall of that building and chipping the way at my health. Which, you know, that's just jank. Okay, well, smoke is rising from this one's a little tough, but it's also a little cheap. Because I was this like, is DNN's. you know, 
I'm gonna focus here for a second and see where I'm really getting shot from, and it was just coming out of that wall. Okay, well, we got a defensive augment to start with, so that's good. Alright, let's quickly hammer through these. That thing. An elite paratrooper sniper unit and the pride of the U.S. Airborne is joining the fight. They're dropping into battle one after the other. This is a scene of biblical proportions. A modern day David and Goliath. Okay, Mr. President, let's shoot them down. The performance of the smart bomb seems to have fallen off. If there's no guidance, okay. it's flying blind. I mean, these rockets are pretty rough. Like, they have very good guidance, which I guess is why... You should knock out the launch bay doors that drop the bombs. You were taking out these towers. By reducing the strong attack. That device, see? What is that even shooting at? Kinda looks like it's just shooting at the ground. Hoping to pick up some ammo back here. Help oh, shoot shield unit. Still at full health. Also, I can see these two guys up here. Gotta knock them out of their very good sniping spot. Okay, that's one of those down. I don't think the missiles can really hit me back here. But I imagine if there's like collectibles, they're probably back here. Oh, there are also target buildings back here. better this time. The thing, a lot of these are just hidden at the back, where I almost escape from the mission if I try to rescue the hostages. Can I get on this building? Okay, I can. It seems like there's a lot of missions where you can't get on a buildings, even if you can boost high enough to get on them. Nope. He actually knocked me out of the air, I think. Well. Still got full health. There's a lot of stuff to break for shield units back here. Okay, I see there's another cage up there. Gotta wait till I cool off. Okay. Thankfully, the missiles are not just coming through this building. I'm not used to how that works. You have to just hold shift without moving, and then when you're high enough, hit forward and you'll start dashing. Let's take these guys off the roof and hope that they don't respawn. There was a gun there. I think that was a sniper, just based on the W. There's another shield unit up here, but I'm not going to pick it up because I might need it later. Seems like I'm not getting hit as much by these missiles, so I guess... Oh! That cannon just took out a whole bar by itself. 
Yeah, their homing is a lot weaker now. Do have to watch out for these. They seem to have a tendency to drop on your head when you're over here. And also just be tucked into everything. <laughs> I heard civilians back here somewhere. I heard the siren, I think. Maybe not. But I'm pretty sure the helicopter is just completely out of range. Unless maybe I had the sniper cannon. I might be able to cheese it a little bit, but then I would just be standing there getting shot by missiles. Take out these other guidance towers. It seems like they're not firing as often now. Oh right, I forgot I had the flamethrower. Let's try that on these buildings. It does not seem to work on missiles though. And also it was not working great here. Alright, I'm just gonna stand here and double missile. Take a look at that! The US ground forces have been totally decimated. Why are they so bad at this? Metal wolf. But we still have the speed ace up our sleeve. That trump card being the Super Assault Heavy Attack Elijah Wan Helicopter. Is it really a speed ace? I mean, it doesn't really look like a speed anything. Oh, Metal Wolf is trying to escape from the base. Oh, right. I still have to worry about the edge of the map. How do you like me now? I don't know why that line changed. It used to be faster. I don't know if it's just because of the weapons I'm using, or because we've been upgraded. But now he says it much slower. Oh my god, look how many mines were there. Just stuck in that corner. Take out these mechs. I don't know if he's still dropping more. Or if this is all just left over from the first group. Start destroying the launch bay doors, Mr. President. First, start by reducing the strong attack. What does that mean, Jody? What do you mean start by reducing the strong attacks? Didn't we already do that by destroying all those towers? I guess those are the bomb bays. Still at the edge of the map. Okay, my health's not doing too bad, and this thing's actually a lot less dangerous now that it's low. The missiles can't hit me from nearly as far away. There were also those civilians back here, right? There was like one more in this kind of corner area? Oh, 
well. Got, I think, most of the energy pods now. Oh, boy. I mean... I kind of just went straight for it when it was doing the... Is one form of tactic, but if you dilly dally too long, the sun will set, Mr. President. I'm not dilly dallying, I'm just trying to stay alive, Jody. Okay, I gotta get... Up here. Oh. Oh, just trying to grab that health. Yeah, this thing's definitely not a speed ace. However, it is still pretty dangerous. When it starts firing all of its guns at once. Oh, fuck. I think it's still out of range. Oh, almost fell in the water. <laughs> kind of just have to put a building between it and you when it starts doing that. All right. From Metal Wolf's fierce assault, the Elijah One fuselage has been damaged, but the Elijah One was designed to withstand damage from 155 millimeter anti-aircraft cannons. I mean, I don't think I'm using 155 millimeter, and I'm still chewing the shit out of itself. Though it is opening its doors, so that's probably why it's taking so much damage. See, like, this part of the fight, the sniper cannon would have been good, because I could probably hit it when it's back there. But I would have had to waste two slots for that. Take cover until it's done firing. My burst meter is still really not that charged, so I don't think I'm gonna get another chance to unload on it. Clearly, considering how many times you've beaten them. Metawolf is trying to escape from the base. Okay, this should be ooh. should be his last run. Elijah Wan's armor plating has taken an awful beating. The dreaded Metawolf fights like a demon on a rampage. I take that as a compliment. Now I'm gonna get greedy and finish it off. A super assault Elijah one helicopter. For once that paid off. The helicopter the military said could never be shot down. This aerial fortress has been destroyed by one single foe dressed in mobile attack armor. But I will never give up hope. Just think how many taxpayer dollars we just crashed. I believe in American justice and my journalistic convictions. Because yes, the pen is still mightier than the sword. And I have journalistic integrity by reporting DNA. propaganda. Hey, Mr. Journalist! That apparently he doesn't know is propaganda. Look, I think it's time for a new pen. Considering he's writing our, our like, story in between missions. Hey, we got both energy pods, and I missed some civilians. Again, a weird number, because it's five, and that means there's some hidden civilian. Got a lot of kills. Oh man, that was a lot of points for that mission. 
like 300,000. I mean, it was a fairly grueling mission. Small map, but still a lot of stuff you had to do. In retaking the Space Plane Center, President Wilson put an end to Hawk's control of the nation's aerospace resources. The spoils were funneled to cities across America, effectively ending Hawk's rationing system. Are we getting food from outer space? As freedom rang from sea to shining sea, I saw the smiles on each of the American people's faces, and I started to wonder, have I been getting this man all wrong? Did you get in touch with the resistance? No, still no word. Maybe he was captured by coup d'etat forces. No, he'd never let that happen. They really do love saying coup d'etat every time. They can't just say coup. I'm sure he's out there waiting to make his move. I must see him. Right, because we were supposed to have a meeting with him and then the resistance got attacked. I made him a promise. Oh, Mr. President. I'm off to the next battlefront. Oh, President, my President. All right, so that was a, a bit longer than I thought it would take for that mission, but I guess we'll call it here. This seems like a good game for like one or two mission episodes, depending on how long the missions are, so that it doesn't overstay its shooting a bunch of shit welcome. So until next time, I've been Shadefire here with President Wilson, and I hope you'll join me as we continue believing in our own justice. Take care, everyone.